headline for this is, I believe as a CEO, as a leader, you've got to be tough-minded on standards right. and tender-hearted with people. Right. And, and so you have to deliver performance. This is not just about right. feeling good. Sometimes you shouldn't feel good because you're not getting the job done. Right. So you have to have world-class standards as a CEO right. and you have to deliver right. against those. Everybody has to know that's important. So I talk about this within the context of the genius of the and. You have to be tough-minded on standards and tender-hearted with people. The tough-minded piece yeah. was done in a different way in meetings or privately. I mean, mm -hmm. you of know, course. I think as you know, but in my first three years at Campbell, we turned over 300 of the top 350 leaders of the company. Yeah. Six out of seven, right. okay? We had to have a lot of very tough conversations about people that weren't delivering in the first three years. Most of those in year two and year three after we gave them an opportunity to deliver in year one and year two. Right. And so uh, our employees weren't, were seeing some tough calls too. Yeah, yeah. Interestingly, we, I'd like to think we dealt with them in a tender-hearted way and we tracked employee engagement. Right. And even through that horrible period Every year our employee engagement went up yeah, for two that, reasons, yeah. I believe. Yeah. I believe because they knew we were making the tough calls and right. they knew they had to be made. Right. You know, the CEO is usually the last guy right. to know who ought to be moved right. in, in the leadership team. And, and also because we handled them in a thoughtful, caring way. Right. So we were respectful of the individual. We were consistent with the values that we had espoused. But you have to be tough-minded and you have to have tough conversations too. My observation is, most companies have an either or mentality. I'm either gonna to be tough or I'm gonna be kind. Right. And right. the answer is the world-class companies yeah. that have enduring value creation stories do both. <laughs>